welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing this quarantine COVID <laughs> quarantine makeup um, tutorial. No, I'm not going out. I'm not doing anything. Obviously, I'm staying home. I'm staying in. But this is what I came up with because I was like, I'm going to slap on makeup before I go crazy and get like out of my mind. Like I'm, I'm losing it. So I was like, you know what? Let me just lather on makeup so that's what i did today and honestly this eye look was not planned i knew i wanted to play with color in like a new palette you guys will see everything to the foundation concealer powder everything but yeah you guys uh i hope you guys are doing very well i hope you guys are doing super super well during these really really rough days and um i hope you guys are staying safe staying home washing your hands being with family you know um spending more time with ma with family please don't forget to like the video and subscribe also comment down below if you guys um want to see more looks like this and yeah oh also don't forget to press the bell notification so you guys can get notified every time i upload new videos and new content for you guys but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this look and if you guys want to recreate this look then please continue watching hey guys and welcome back to my channel <laughs> sorry that's like my little um order order i can't even say that word i can never say that word order odor 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 little spray thing that just sprays out every like 10 minutes i think but um anyways off topic today i'm going to be getting writing for no reason um it's quarantine we are staying in and it's a friday night so i'm not doing anything so i was like you know what let me just do my makeup for no reason like i always do even when we were in quarantine, I would always do my makeup for no reason. So here it is. But this is not going to be like like a regular makeup tutorial. This is going to be like something different out of the box that I haven't um, really gone to play. Like palettes that I haven't really like played with and then I've been dying to play with. Or palettes that I've only like used neutral colors on on the palette on the bleh, bleh. I'm gonna order some of these because these are going like a little bit loose, and so I order some. Um, yeah, like palettes that I really haven't really dived into. This Natasha Denona palette that cost me so fucking much, <laughs> like sixty dollars, and I have not played with it. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just see what I come up with, see what I can do here. A lot of face products are going to be like not new like I've used them before but definitely like the eyes are going to be new like it's going to be a different kind of look and I hope you guys like it um so yeah let's just get started I'm very like jittery literally I have not been doing anything all day so I was like you know what let me just film today as you guys can see my skin has been getting good except for this pimple right here I've been going a lot of pimples right here and that's because of a bad eating habits you know the quarantine quarantine snacks like look at that Eek. by the way my quarantine coffee right here this is my second one of the day <laughs> the first thing that i'm going to be taking is this laura mercier pure canvas power primer this one right here guys i'm just gonna take a little bit of this apply it like around my face oh those are so similar not really no they're not okay and then i'm gonna quickly just blend it out so um today's foundation i'm gonna be taking this um maybelline foundation i've currently been obsessed with this maybelline foundation but first i'm gonna be color correcting around my no my nose <laughs> around my mouth you guys know that i been really into this and I don't know why I'm just starting to do this again because this really does work it really cancels out the darkness around your mouth especially if you suffer from dark dark spots dark dark circles definitely recommend this Japanese crayon it looks crazy at first <laughs> I look like crazy. Now that we have that good and blended, um, I'm not gonna really show you guys in depth my foundation routine. I'm just gonna really quickly do it. Um, if you guys want to, you know, know a little bit more about it, definitely look up my current video, which is a 
highlight and contour routine. I'm going to blend out with this sponge right here from Juno Co. Company. So now um, my sister's vacuuming her room, so I'm so sorry about that noise. But now I'm going to do my concealer um today's concealer i'm gonna be taking oh oh this concealer is actually pretty good i've been loving this Too faced peachy concealer in the shade peanut butter it's really bomb you guys and i use this with this brush right here where are you brush this is it right here and all i'm gonna do is take this and apply it under my eye and this shade cannot be more perfect like it looks like my skin tone it's like my perfect shade for under here oh and now i'm gonna go ahead and start to blend out the concealer We already concealed, so now I'm going to highlight. I'm going to be highlighting with this Frankie Rose um, concealer in the shade Ginger. And all I'm going to do is do three, dot, three little lines like that down the ridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, and chin. Oh, I have something right there. That is itchy. And then I'm going to do like a little square on my forehead like that so now i'm just gonna blend it out what i like about this concealer is that it really gives you that highlight effect under your eye it's not like super full coverage but it's definitely pigmented like it's really it shows off its true color So now I'm going to be cream contouring and I'm going to be taking this Fenty Beauty Matchstick. But now I'm going to be taking this brush. This is a Morphe M536 brush. And all I'm going to do is blend this out. All right, so now I'm gonna set my face with the Huda Beauty setting powder in the shade Pound Cake. And I like taking taking this sponge right here from Le Mercier. Okay, so I look really crazy right now, but we are going to dust it off after everything. Now I'm going to be setting my face. I'm going to be taking the Sephora Collection Micro Smooth Powder in the shade Matte Tan. And I'm going to be taking the Sephora Collection 96 brush. And all I'm going to do is, you know, get some and then stamp it on. Oh, you know what? I promised myself that I was going to use a different powder. Wow. Um, for today's powder, I'm going to be using this Makeup Forever powder. And all I'm going to do is just set my whole entire face. You can actually use this alone, but I am using it today because I do want that extra full coverage.
So now I'm gonna do my bronzer and all that jazz. This is a Makeup Shack um, T20 brush and I'm just gonna focus this right here. So now I'm gonna get rid of this powder we have going on. Oh my god, I've been really loving this blush trio we have going on. This is the Jouer, um Rose Gold Blush Duo. I love taking these both to do my blush. Just gives a really nice sheen to the face too. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for the face. I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera and then I'll be right back to finish up the look. And yeah, see you guys right now. Alright guys, so this is what I came up with. Um, I'm loving it. I use the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. So nice. Look at that wing. This wing is actually a brown winged eyeliner and I'm so excited for you guys to see how I achieve it. The first shade that I'm going to be picking up, I do have a little bit of it, um, is this shade right here called Morrigan? Mar 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 um, and then I'm just going to be blending this shade out. Really take my time blending this shade. It's a really beautiful shade, by the way. Now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead and take Glory, which is this shade right here. It's such a beautiful, like, fuchsia pink shade. It's so freaking nice. I'm going to be taking it with this Morphe brush. This is the JH35 brush. I'm going to take a little bit of it, literally the tiniest bit on the brush. Tap off the axis. And I'm going to focus this, kind of doing like a V. Okay, so I'm going to focus it right here first. And then taking it out like this. And then going back in. Kind of like a sideways V. Doing that again. And I do recommend grabbing the brush all the way down the bristle. Just so you guys, just so you can have like more of a flow control. A little bit literally goes a long way. You don't want to go like super crazy. But this is all I'm doing and then I'm bringing it. And then now I'm going to be taking this JH40 brush. And I'm going to focus this on here. Then I'm not taking any product on the other brush, and um, on the um, JH35 brush, and I'm just kind of like brushing this like this. So now that we have that good to go, I'm going to go ahead and take this Carnelian shade with this. It's the ES3 brush, and all I'm going to do is focus this on the crease. I do want that kind of sunset kind of eyeshadow going on I'm gonna do the crease first and then I'm gonna just press this So now I'm going to be taking this brush 
taking a little bit of the eyeshadow and I'm gonna just blend it out so there's like no this is the benefit roller liner in the shade brown <laughs> and what I'm gonna do is Now I'm not going to take it all the way in, I'm just going to stop right here on, kind of like on the middle of the eye. Best. I'm going to do this eye off camera and see like a little vision that I have going on and then I'll be right back and showing you guys like the same step by step on this eye, so yeah. Alright guys, so I totally forgot to mention my lip combo and... I didn't do it right now, but I'm going to um, let you guys know what lip liner I used. I used the KKW Beauty Lip Liner in the shade number 2 and also the Kylie Cosmetics um, Ice Latte. You guys know this is my favorite lip liner. And um, I also used the MAC Cosmetics Impulsive, Impulsive Lipstick and it's a really, really nice color. You guys know that I love using that color. And I actually, like, this lipstick has been one of my favorites. Um, and I also put a little bit of this Anastasia on the center of my lip. It just makes it, like, more um, gradient. And it, this is in the shade Sand. If you guys also follow me on Instagram, I'm always, always constantly um, talking about my lip combo. And I also do, like, little mini tutorials on how I lip line and how I fill them in. But this is the lip that I am, you know, rocking today. Oh, I didn't mention the the lashes, and the lashes are um, Lily Lashes in the style Ella. You guys know these these are my favorite lashes. Hollywood and Ella are my two pairs, like. And yeah, this is the look right here, you guys. I'm obsessed how it turned out. I usually do not play with colors, and you guys know that I do not. You guys know that I just stick to my regular neutral colors, and I literally am living for this eye that I'm gonna continue wearing, I'm pretty sure, and I'm obsessed with the brown eyeliner. As you guys can see, it's like, it adds such a beautiful touch to the look. Honestly, I'm just super 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 obsessed with this look and i hope you guys are too um but yeah you guys uh thank you so much for watching and make sure to like the video and also comment down below if you guys are loving the look let me know if you guys are gonna try it this quarantine season we have going on but i'm gonna for sure wear it when all this is over and hopefully this is all over super super soon i hope you guys are having a good day and hope you guys are staying safe during these quarantine days but yeah you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys on my next video bye guys